So uh, many times in my practice, I'm asked to look at um, the patient's airway to determine if there's a, a narrowing, um, and they might be uh, a patient with obstructive sleep apnea. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do in uh, the on-demand 3D software. Uh, I've anonymized a patient here that we're going to open, and we open it in uh, one of the modules called Dental. And uh, once it's open, uh, you'll see that we can go to um, an area that says airway, and it does automatic things for you uh, in this software. So now that it's uh, just about open, um, we'll click on airway, and you'll see that um, there is a sagittal section over to the right, uh, axial section up top. And then uh, I've defaulted uh, for my airway analyses to a kind of a transparent mode you can see here on the bottom uh, left. So I'm going to just bring those up a bit. And when I click airway, um, I go over to the tool that says path. And automatically, uh, it will bring up the sagittal view, normally pretty much in the center of the volume. So I'll find the nasal palatine canal. I'll right click and do a little contrast enhancement so I can see the, the palate and the airway. Now there's some scatter uh, or some artifact rather in parts of the scan, but I'm pretty sure it will uh, ignore that and, and uh, put the correct path in there. So I select path and it says uh, set four seed points. So I'll start at the junction of the hard and soft palate. I'll go down the airway pretty much in a straight line here. Uh, well, maybe I'll come to the right. And then we'll come uh, forward of the epiglottis and double click. And you'll see that automatically we'll get a uh, an airway with uh, analyses already completed on it. If you look very carefully, you can see uh, the red area uh, gives us the visualization of the narrowest point. Uh, it gives them a, gives you a minimum area at that point and a total volume of the airway itself. Uh, I will take screenshots of this. So this first one, I'm going to just take the page, the anonymous details off there. I do that um, just by clicking on the overlay. And anytime you go over to select a tool, it'll tell you what it is. So I'll take off the overlay. I'm going to pick up the camera, which says output, and it says capture. And I'm going to take a full screenshot. And then I'm going to switch views to the uh, axial view and scroll down till I find the narrowest part. Visually, you can see that it's uh, a narrow red area. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll just kind of scroll up and down. And I'm watching the dimensions over here of this uh, narrowed airway. And it says 40.7, 40.5, 40.4. Um, if I scrolled up or down, you'll see those numbers change dramatically. But as I get into the area um, of the narrowest part, it looks like 40.4 is the narrowest. So I'll take a screenshot there as well. Um, it also does it in a grayscale, which is kind of nice to look at with a total area or total volume rather. And we'll do that. And then what I like about this, uh, it actually has an endoscopy view. And when I bring that up, I can actually scroll down through the airway just by using my wheel mouse and see where the narrowest portions are. Um, I would like to see this in a different uh, setup so that I can actually see the soft tissue not colored, but as, as a normal sort of maybe pink or beige hue so I could look up and down the airway. But it's a nice tool. Um, I'm also going to go into the 3D view and select surface. And what it does in the surface it will allow me to bring up a picture of the airway uh, in the uh, AP view, and then we can rotate it around. I just right click and you can rotate, and you can see that the narrowest part is there. I'll take another screenshot. So now I have probably six or seven screenshots of this uh, patient with its the airway analysis all completed for me. I would save those. I would put them in a folder and uh, embed them in a report, uh, just saying the airway appears narrowed and give them those uh, measured uh, images so that they can make a determination on what to do, what to proceed, to go to a sleep lab, 
um, or and or make an appliance. And it's as simple as that. It's very, very simple software, very quick analysis, uh, very visually striking. And you can see that, you know, I'm sure the patient would be impressed with it as well. Chair side. Thanks.